Well, new concerns today that the Obama administration will reverse part of the welfare, welfare reform law that was a cornerstone of President Clinton's reform efforts in the 1990s. A House committee holding a hearing today on the administration's push to waive the work requirement for some welfare recipients, but there's more to that story, so we're going to get into it in a second. Last summer, the Obama administration dropped the requirement in part and did so without the approval of Congress, and this became a very big deal in the presidential campaign, but it is in dispute. Lou Dobbs is the host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on the Fox Business Network. So I remember this because the Republicans made a big deal out of it, and the Obama administration pushed back and said, that's nonsense. We did not get rid of the work requirement in welfare. We are just allowing states the flexibility they are asking us to give them to decide what qualifies as work and what doesn't. In other words, if a mother wants to go back and get sure. an advanced degree so that will help her job prospects, that might qualify now, whereas it may not have before. The, you know, the compassion and the leadership of the Obama administration on this is truly remarkable, the flexibility they often seek. Uh, the problem with it is it's against the law. Uh, the Republicans went to the General Accountability Office and asked for a ruling on this, whether or not this is a regulation and therefore subject to uh, to the oversight of the United States Congress. The right so did of they review. have to come to the right us, the folks in the House, and get our permission before they Absolutely, did this? Absolutely, because what it they're is asking. a little thing like a law. And they had to do so. So uh, the Republicans sent off a note to uh, HHS, Kathleen Sebelius, the secretary, and said, explain what in the world, why you would think you had unilateral authority to change the law. Mm -hmm. They haven't heard from her. And since September. And now they think it's probably time to bring this to a conclusion and a resolution. And that's why they're proceeding with these hearings. And the fact is, I don't, for the life of me, understand how there could be any question. Could, could I read you the, the, well, the heading of Section 407 of the law? Because it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's into, I'll just read you the title, if I may, okay. Megan. Yeah. It's called Mandatory Work Requirements. Now, I don't often see in any statute or law a, a straightforward statement of intent and the effect of a law. In other words, mandatory, mandatory work, requirements. work requirements. There isn't any wiggle room in that whatsoever. I will tell you this. Uh, when this debate came up over the summer, we right. had the guy who used to run New York's program on, uh -huh. on the show. And this guy, if memory serves, was a liberal Democrat. And he said they are... The odds would they, be pretty good. He said they are gutting the program. He said they are taking the work requirement out, right. and that is a fair right. charge by the Republicans. Right. Um, he doesn't think that the, that the flexibility will really amount to real work and that people are going to game the system. Uh, other, and others have said this, that people are going to game the system now under these new flexible rules he, this is to the, get welfare without working. The patience of the Republican Party in this, the patience of the national liberal media, and, and by the way, they are nothing more than lap dogs now instead of watchdogs. This should have been a subject that was absolutely front and center in the campaign. Mitt Romney chose not to do so. Well, he tried, but or, or um, the RNC you know, tried. One of them did. Well, they also lost. And so the Republicans need something besides losers. Uh, and to let this go on, to fester this long without a statement, a declaration, and an appeal, a campaign, if you will, to the American people on the importance of the Constitution. Because this administration has made it clear. It will work around, as the president is fond of saying, the Congress, recalcitrant uh, ogres that they are, and he will take his enlightenment and his intent and make it so, independently, unilaterally, and without sanction by the Congress or the Constitution. It's got to stop. This is one of those instances, like refusal to enforce the immigration code. Uh, you know, if he doesn't like it, if we don't like it, change it. But do not behave as if this is some sort of uh, uh, third world country in which uh, whoever survives the most recent contest is the leader, mm -hmm. the dear leader, because it is not a way an American president should be acting. Well, that's that's interesting because you've got nor a the loyal got, opposition for that matter. You got a couple of issues there. You got you know number one, the president, in your view, flouting the law as it's written, and he was criticized for refusing to defend the Defense of Marriage Act too. 
which you're supposed to do as the federal government, supposed to defend these federal He's laws, which he refused to do. We're going to talk about that in our next block. Right. But, but I do want to say this. The other thing about welfare is, if you just quickly look at this graph, sure. it shows what President Clinton did, what the, and, and the Congress, it was a bipartisan effort, worked. Look at this. Look at the number of people getting welfare, up near 16 million prior to when we passed the Welfare Reform Act, and look how dramatically it dropped and how relatively low it stayed ever since. So there are yeah. stakes involved substantively in doing this. The he is getting a program that works. Uh, the aid to dependent, uh, to families with dependent children did not work. It was, and they replaced it in 2006 uh, with the temporary assistance for, for needy families. And as you say, it worked. Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. There is a principle involved. There's ideology involved. But there is the pure fact that it actually works and returns people to a productive role in society. And that's critically important. Well, they claim they're not messing it with it that much. They're just doing what the states want them to do. Would you do, like but... me to give you a list of the things they claim that is independent? Hey, listen, you're lucky I let you, I'll let you read that header. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's done. It's over between us. Okay, fine.